Hey guys, welcome back to Ed's Garage. Today, a little experiment. Can I charge my 2023 Hyundai Ioniq 6 with my homemade battery pack? That's right, I have a homemade battery pack. If you haven't already seen, oh, that's foggy. If you haven't already seen the video where I put this all together, please check my channel and the links in the description below. I built this battery pack from scratch. It's got two and a half kilowatt hours of battery power and it's currently running a 1500 watt capable inverter. So the reason that it, this is a kind of a weird test is because I actually did already try this with the uh, charger that came with the car and it just didn't work. Unfortunately, it, it you know that charger, well, fortunately, has a very, very good ground fault protection uh, circuit in it to make sure that there's no ground faults. This charger that I'm using now, oh, where is it? Uh, but yeah, this charger right here, Apparently does not. <laughs> so don't mind the uh, weird mashup job plug that I just created there. That's incredibly dangerous. Uh, don't do this at home. Uh, this is actually a 240 volt charger. So I had to quit quickly install a 110 volt uh, capable plug in here. So that's a NEMA uh, 515 plug, but the charger itself came with a NEMA 620. That's a 240 volt connection. Um, but that's okay, because these chargers, they'll actually work from anywhere uh, from 110 volts all the way up to 240 volts. So uh, what I'm gonna do next here, I've got this battery completely fully charged. I think it's at like 98%. So it's not maybe, maybe not completely fully charged, but it's pretty close. I wanna see how much energy it can put back into my car. Now, the car is currently set to charge at 60% of its rated current. Uh, close the hood here. I don't need that to open up anymore. Uh, so I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to bump it up one spot because it was just on a very, very short test. It was pulling 1100 watts and I want to see if it can pull a little bit more without uh, setting off the battery packs uh, uh, protection system. So because it's capable of, of 1500 watts maximum. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the vehicle settings here. And then under EV, there we go. So charging current, I'm gonna put it up to 90%. That's probably gonna to be too much for that battery pack, uh, but we'll give it a shot here. Start that off. Okay, so here's where the wattage reading is right. Okay, right there. Let's go ahead and plug this in and hope for the best. I'll probably, it's probably gonna kick off the BMS. So I'll have a look. One watt, 58, 323, 500, 600. Nope, that's too much. That doesn't sound good at all. So I'm gonna shut that off. <laughs> all right, so clearly that was drawing too much amperage uh, and that something in there was making a weird noise. So yeah, just to be on the safe side, shut that off. Let's turn this back on again here. All right, everything looks fine. Oh, I did not like that noise at all. That was a weird noise. I've never heard the battery pack make that noise before. So uh, now the BMS that's in there, the battery management system won't let it pull too much. It'll actually, it has a little surge thing. So it lets you go over a certain amount. Uh, but clearly that was too high for it um, and it was starting to kick out. So it would have it would have failed eventually on its own and kind of just turned off for safety purposes. But I'm going to go ahead and set this back to 60 percent and we'll shut the car off and plug it back in again. All right, let's see what it does now. OK. Plug that in. Charging started. Started charging. It's not making any weird noises and it's ramping up to 1100, 1105 watts. Perfect, okay, 1109, 1109. Okay, now inside the car, I don't know if you can see from here, but on the screen it says 1.1 kilowatt, which makes perfect sense because that's exactly what this says it's drawing. But let's quickly check to see what the battery level is at. So it's at 
87% right now with a range of 413 kilometers expected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this run. I'm gonna let it draw from this battery pack until this battery pack is depleted. Now that's gonna take a few hours, but what I wanna see is how many kilometers can I gain and how many percentage points can I gain by running this, like by, by charging from this. So I'm probably never gonna need this. As a matter of fact, I did a 15,300 kilometer road trip and I brought batteries in that trailer and I had them there just in case. And the, the um, inverter that's in that trailer is actually 3000 watts capable. So I didn't need to do any sort of weird, you know, dropping down the amperage or anything like that. It was perfectly fine and perfectly happy to just go on its way um, at full 100% uh, AC charging but I never needed it. I did that whole trip without needing any extra range. So I wanna see what sort of range I can expect off of this little two and a half kilowatt hour battery pack and see if it could be used as kind of a just in case backup. So we'll come back when this is shut off. All right, it has been going for about two and a half hours, which makes perfect sense considering this is a roughly a two and a half hour kilowatt hour battery and it's been pulling almost a thousand watts the entire time so that makes perfect sense. Um, you can see my inverter is beeping away. It's showing that it's at uh, pretty much dead. As soon as this hits 48 volts it should stop. Um, you can see the temperature is at 70 degrees Celsius right now. It's now pulling just under a thousand watts. Uh, it never got over 72 degrees so that's good. It just hits 40. There we go. Got an error. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. And we'll let this uh, cool down and shut off. So now the question is, how far did we get? Um, how, many, how many kilometers did we add and what sort of percentage did we add? And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see what that looks like. So the, uh, before I do that, the battery pack does have a little bit more power. It's at 49 volts now, so it wouldn't back up, but you really don't wanna drain these that far down that often anyway. So 48 volts is sort of the safe limit as far as how far you wanna go down. Uh, but it's still showing in my uh, battery management system uh, a couple of percentage uh, points. So it's at, it's at about three or 4% right now. So. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'll let it cool down then I'll let it charge back up. But let's see what the car is at. <laughs> Cause that is the question. All right. All right, well, so I suspect that we've gone up 2%. Uh, I think we were at 83% before. All right, I just double checked it. It's, it was at 87% with a range of 413 kilometers. I believe it's going to be at 89% with a range of 420 kilometers. So let's see if my estimation is accurate. Four hundred and seventeen kilometers at eighty nine percent. So we went from eighty seven percent to eighty nine percent. So I was right on the money for the percentage increase. The range, keep in mind, is largely dependent on factors like temperature and stuff like that. So and the climate control and whatnot. So that makes sense that the range is off. Um, but the um, the percentage point makes perfect sense because that battery is uh, 2.4, 2.5 kilowatt hours. We were at 87%. We went up 2.2 2 percentage points, um, 2.5 kilowatt hours. That's, I'll see what percentage that is of 77.4 kilowatt hours. Yeah. So that, um, yeah, 2% is, is about one and a half kilowatt hours of 77.4 kilowatt, that's, that's the percentage point. So 2.5 down to 1.5, the reason there is that loss is because, well, uh, a number of different things. So we're taking it from a battery, we're up converting it to 120 volts with a very inexpensive inverter, which probably has a lot of, um, a lot of losses. But then on top of that, you're taking that power and bumping it all the way up to 800 volts, which is what this battery pack is. So there are a lot of charging losses, especially coming from uh, a cheap Chinese inverter uh, and, a, and a homemade battery pack. But you know what? 
I think that's perfectly fine. We added 1.5 kilowatt hours of battery power into the car, uh, which equates to roughly about four or five kilometers. So my, my initial guess of um, uh, eight kilometers was wrong. I uh, went from 413 to 417, which actually, now that I think about it, makes perfect sense. If we went up uh, by one and a half kilowatt hours, that that's about right. Um, so is this feasible for uh, a range extending little mini battery pack? Nah, not really. It's it's big, it's heavy, and honestly, it only gets me about four kilometers. Uh, mind you, if I drive really slowly, then I could probably stretch that to six or seven kilometers. So if we were, you know, coming up short on a charging station or something like that, uh, I guess that would be somewhat helpful. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon. So, but this was more of a test of the battery pack itself, uh, the homemade battery pack. Oh, I just dropped my keys. Um, I wanted to see just how much power it could dole out. And I wanted to also make sure that it cut power on its own at the right voltage, which it did. So that was good to see. The inverter actually cut power before the BMS did. Um, and now it's just beeping away. So... All of that said and done, I'm happy with the performance. Guys, if you enjoyed this uh, silly little video, by all means, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you're interested in any uh, products like uh, small appliances or uh, EV equipment or uh, camping equipment accessories, tires and wheels, etc., check out all of my affiliate links down below. I just signed up with a company called AMZ Chef and my Ed's Garage discount code gives you 30% off of that company's product. So please check out that affiliate link down below. Uh, I'll be getting um, a, I got, I got myself a water heater and I actually did a, a video on that uh, not long ago from that company and it actually works really, really nicely. Um, I'm getting a dual burner induction cooktop soon. So I'm gonna be doing a video on that as well. Uh, pretty excited to do that. Um, but yeah, check out the affiliate links would love to help you guys save some money there and uh, it helps out the channel when you do purchase through there as well. So uh, in any event, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care.